Alright you guys, I'm here to review Mothra. This film came out in 1961. This is also a prelude movie that's going to lead into the other Godzilla films as Mothra will go on to star in seven Godzilla films, even to have her own trilogy in the 1990s. So basically, um, when word goes out that there is a, a island that is supposedly uninhabited, but it has actually has natives on it, well... Crooked businessman Clark Nelson leads a group there to find out what's going on. Upon discovering on that island, they discover that the natives are huge, like not like big out of shape people like them, but they're also tiny ones, tiny two tiny um, natives. And of course, being the, the ready asshole he is, he abducts the two of them, not knowing that the two sent out a distress call to their protector Mothra, which is who the natives um, worship. Kind of like how the other natives worship Godzilla, they worship this big giant moth, okay? So, once Mothra is basically hatched and um, set to go rescue him, she creates a bunch of big destruction all around, um, I want to say Tokyo, but it's not. It's another, another name for the city, almost like New York City, in a sense, but it's not because it, ha it has Americans in it as well, so, yeah. But, but, but that being said, this movie is pretty good. I liked it. it. This is, I didn't know Martha had her own film, and I didn't know she was a female until I basically watched this movie. I thought Martha was like a male moth, but it turns out she was female. Now, but you want how's the acting? Acting's all right. It's the 1960s, so Japanese actors are all okay. Um, if you don't understand a word they're saying, but yeah, it's a good film, good action, and it's very short. This movie is about an hour and 28 minutes. Wow, but it's a long tw hour, 28 minutes. This movie kind of drags a little bit. For a movie to be 90, 98 minutes, really drags, and it shows. Um, but hey, when the action is there and the story needs to get along to where it, it has to go, it works. Okay. So with that being and that being said, I'm going to give Mothra a B. It's a good good film. You should all check it out. Another good monster movie to add to the kaiju film collection. As well, I will add it to mine so if they make a Blu-ray version. So, will I review the Japanese? I mean, the English version? Probably not. It's not really needed. I'm only doing that with the Godzilla films, basically. And this is only like a side quest to the Godzilla films. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think about Mothra down below. Did y'all like it? Did y'all hate it? What do y'all think about the character in general? And... Do you think she's a worthy foe to Godzilla, or do you think there's another one? Let me know down below, and I'll catch y'all later.